my fellow comic book collectors. It's Alan, the comic collector geek, and I'm joined with my good friend, uh, Mark Olroyd from Suddenly Comics. And uh, this is the hottest Silver Age comics for the week. And we got a bit of a theme going on here. I'm going to be looking at the high-end books, like 9.8s, the 9.6s, Top of the Census books. Actually, one of the 9.6s on this list is Top of the Census. So um, these are books that are the ones that collectors go after, you know, the the standard, oh, you know, you have to get a 9.8 or nothing at all. <laughs> this is the books. How well did they perform? So we're going to find out. Let's get it started. What's the okay. first book? So um, I'm going to share my screen. And um, what am I sharing? That's, I think. So we're starting off with Spike and Tyke 9.8. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> I try to keep it with also not just nine eights, but nine eights of some pretty random comics, uh, you know, like ones that we wouldn't necessarily see on the list very often. Well, no, I don't think we've had four color one two six six on the list before. Is this? It's not their first appearance or anything. What's the notes say there? I, I'm just curious. It says uh, MGM Spike and Tyke. That's it. File copy. Yeah, I figured it's a file copy. Usually these high-grade ones are file copies. But it's a really cool book. Yeah, kind of cute. So that's got to be the highest grade of this. Well, oh, yeah. Or okay. equal to highest grade. I can't imagine there's a 9.9 .9 or a 10. Uh, $504 <laughs> for that. But it's a pretty random book. Um ooh, interesting. I bet, never, I bet, I bet a 9.8 of this has never sold before. That's my bet. That's I bet. Well, I bet it sold before, but this is probably a new record. It'd be my guess. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <It's not> <laughs> <laughs> We're both wrong. And um, Oh, dear. Wow. Alan, if you'd bought this, you'd have paid. This is down to a third of its value. This has done the usual COVID thing. Wow. When did it sell? Um, which one? The high grade one. Uh, the, the high grade this, one. That one. One thousand six, one thousand five hundred and sixty dollars, April twenty-two. Okay, so that actually is past the COVID bump. And slightly after COVID, yeah. So yeah, so that's interesting. So this book didn't do so well. well how many? Not, uh, how many of them? Yeah, are how, uh, yeah. How many nine eights are there and stuff? Nine. Oh no, total overall was one. One nine eight, oh, so it's the same book. It's the same book. Somebody sold it for third. Oh. What they paid for it for? Ouch! Yeah, Ouch. it's the same book. Somebody bought that for fifteen hundred dollars just over a year ago and has just sold it for five hundred and four. Ouch! Okay. That's the worst. Somebody's just taken a thousand dollar loss on that book. Wow! Wow. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I was so. I was right when I said about there's only one of these. Well, yeah, 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 that's true. That's, <laughs> you got that part right. Um, so, wow, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. But, I mean, wow. So somebody either got a really good deal on this 9-8 or that other person really took a, a beating, <laughs> basically. Well, the other person took a beating. Yeah. Oh, they must have needed wow. the money. Yeah. I mean, I if, mean, you, well, if, you know, if you that never was know you, Alan, gonna... you'd, you'd, you'd have just held on to it, wouldn't you? You wouldn't have. You wouldn't... Well, the thing is, it's it's an auction, so you never know. Yeah, you, you it could have gone yeah, up. True. It could have. Yeah, true. Mm. Yeah, you know, like the funny thing with Heritage, like I find that whatever the, before they, you know, they what they do is they, they have it where it's open bidding for like a week or two. That's right. And then. And then right, like, so then it closes like about 10 minutes or so before the auction starts. Yeah. It's open bidding. And whatever that price is, I find usually it it's two to three times that is what it sells for. Okay. So, you know, you, you never know. Like, it could be, oh, it, it's, clo you know, the open bidding was $500. And the guy's like, oh, maybe it's going to sell it, like, what I sold it, <laughs> bought it for. Yeah. Um, but uh, I guess not. <laughs> I guess. 
Right, that okay, one. so that's not a good start then. Let's have a look at the mm -hmm. next one. Tarzan of the Apes. Yeah, one. another 9-8. Painted cover. Nice cover. I do like the cover. Yeah, uh, these Tarzan and, ones are quite nice. Uh, issue, is this gold? It's gold key. Issue 151. What does it say in the text? Gaylord Dubois story. Jesse Marsh. And just painted and cover. Ross, Ross Manning. And it's, oh, it's a George Wilson cover. I love George Wilson painted covers. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is actually interesting. It's nine, eight white pages. It's like, you know, the best you can get yeah. for this book. Beautiful. So uh, George yeah. Wilson, George Wilson did a lot of the Solar Man of the Atom covers. That I love. Oh, okay. Yeah. He probably worked for Gold Key and probably did a lot of their yeah, covers, right? He did. And he did some of the um, painted covers on Star Trek as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. I kind of recognize the style. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up with gold keys, so I kind of yeah. But that's that is a really nice one. That is a really nice cover. Great George Wilson art. Um, mm -hmm. But some, how well did he do got this for a steal? Didn't they? Yeah, six hundred and thirty dollars. That really is nice for six hundred and thirty dollars. I have to say. But it's not a key issue. There's nothing special about it except for the art. Oh well, right. nine point eight as well. But the, this will. Uh, so I'm I'm betting my money again. There's only one nine eight of this. I'm betting there might be multiple, and then this is like probably a good sale. I, I'd say it's a strong sale. That's my guess. I'm right again. There is only one copy of this. Only one. Wow, I'm I'm failing on that. So these are the, all the top of the census books so far. Uh, there we go. So it's a record sale because it's the first time it's ever sold. Wow. It, it, was it also a file copy or? I don't think it, it was. Or? Hang on. I don't think it did. It didn't say file copy on it. I don't think. Um, no, no file. Okay, okay. No. interesting. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think that's a good price. I mean, I think that's a low price for me, you know, that is such a rare. Well, copy. yeah, the problem is like with these, where it's the first of you know, the first sale of, um, it's really hard to figure out you know what what it should sell for so most people are like oh you know they don't bid too hard because they don't want to have the 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 rough and ready or whatever the other one was um <laughs> have that same experience where they overbuy um so what uh, i'd be curious how many what did the nine six go for okay let's have a look nine six there's three so there's, i think there's two four hundred and forty two it's about oh, okay eight. About right. So if you think about that, then you'd probably guess the nine eight would go for about double. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. So uh this was a bit of an undersell as well. It probably should have gone for around eight hundred. Yeah. Although I imagine wow. you can look at George Wilson painted covers as a sub genre. Um because there are people who collect out. there are people who collect George Wilson. Um he is quite collectible. These painted covers are um pretty collectible. So uh, I like George Wilson, um, and, but I'm not a, you know, I won't, I, I haven't got a George Wilson collection. Uh, yeah. But I do spot them, you know, sometimes I will go, oh, that's a George Wilson painted cover and I'll buy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's, I think somebody got a good deal on this one I uh, based on, based on the other sale. Um, wow. <laughs> it's again, it's like one of those hard ones, I think or to go at auction people don't really know how much to bid on it okay right oh we've got a, there must be more than but this one. one i really like personally i i'm a big jungle book fan so um this is uh yeah. walt disney's jungle book i'm not sure if it's the first issue or only issue so what does it say? alan you should be i can judge people's personality by which is their favorite character in the jungle book oh okay so who's your favorite character in the jungle? Uh Baloo? Yes. See, I I uh I I quite like um what's this guy called? The King of the Apes. Oh, I liked him too. My my sister used to do his voice really well, and she'd always read me the story of this or we had like the Disney like book and the like, album, like yeah. the little records. So what is this uh jungle book number one? 
Jungle Book 1, Gold Key, 9.8. Mm-hmm. It just says movie, comics, backup, cover, pinup. Wow. So, and White Pager as well. Very nice. I bet there's more than one of this. Now, how much did this sell for? Did this sell for more, the more than the Tarzan? No, about the same. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, about the same. So each book, as this list goes on, will be slightly more expensive, right? Okay, not hugely more than the Tarzan, which is surprising. I would have thought this was more popular. Oh, uh, this is to me a better book. I mean, it is a key. It is like the first Jungle yeah, it's Book, based on a movie. Based on a movie, yeah. Oh, well, there's okay. There's, there is only one of these. <laughs> only one of these. Um, and how did this sale do? Uh, well, it, there's only one of them, Alan, and it sold twice. Uh, oh, it's gone up. Yeah, so somebody, somebody, somebody bought somebody. Yeah, somebody bought this in twenty one for two hundred and sixty four dollars, and has sold it two years later for six hundred and sixty. I think that counts. So they as did good, well. That counts as so, a good buy. Yeah, that would be a good buy. Record sale. Record sale, and uh, yeah, I mean that's a pretty nice increase. Um, and this is a cool book. I, I, you know, I, I, and with only one on the census. For this grade, um, so let's have a you look. know that makes it that makes it much more desirable. So far, all these books would be the most desirable of the books. Yeah, you know I mean, there's a... yeah the ones we've seen so far. This would be I think that this is the best pickup. So no... oh yeah, but no, I mean all of them are like the most desirable of the books that they are. You know, what I mean, like they're all one of one. Oh yeah, 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 level. yeah. Well, they've all three been unique at the moment. So yeah. Um, yeah um there's no nine sixes on this either so uh that nine eight is long way ahead of its nearest rival yeah it stays well above yeah i mean if you think about it a nine eight in this book should be really rare (laughs) like it 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 should be one of one just because (laughs) it's like a kid's book you know kids are horrible to their books um so yeah that's a pretty cool one that's interesting. I bet there's some of those raw. I bet there's some of those out there raw in decent. I uh, but I doubt it in nine eights. They won't be in nine eight, no. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, that was a good one. Uh, number four. Oh, another Disney. Um, another Disney one. This one's interesting. This is a nine six. Uh, they didn't have a nine eight sale of it, so I, I, but I thought it was an interesting one. Um. Uh, just because it is a Disney one, it's a classic uh, comic, uh, Beauty, uh, Beauty, uh, Sleeping Beauty, and the and the Prince. And what is I always like reading the notes. What does the notes say? Notes say Sleeping Beauty and the Prince movie adaptation, Al Hubbard Art, Dell mm-hmm. Publishing, so for- May fifty nine. Oh, it was nearly my birthday book, Alan. This and is, four four color nine seventy three. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, these movie adaptations usually don't do as well as like. Um, but when it's a Disney one, people seem to like it. Now, this is more expensive than the Jungle Book, I presume, because it's earlier. This is nineteen fifty nine. Jungle Book's a bit later, isn't it? So um, yeah, yeah. This is a bit older, um, and it's a bit more of a recognized film. Jungle Book is a good film. But Sleeping Beauty is more of a classic, right? Yeah, but Sleeping Beauty is called Sleeping Beauty. It's not called Stupid Beauty and the Prince. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Right. Um, and this is top of the census as well. This is top of the census. There's only one of them. And this is the first time it's sold, Alan. So we could, we're not able to do a lot of trend analysis. <laughs> a lot of trend. But we can compare it to, like, is there a 9.4 or something like that? Yeah, probably, that we yes, can compare probably. It to? Yeah, also, only one sale. For, and what did it sell for? Well, 448, so 900 is about right. Yeah, that would be exactly right, actually. Usually about double the 9, like the... yeah. Right, the next not many grade. of these either, Alan. Yeah, only ten, 10 on the census. Ten, a ten on the total of ten. Wow. Um, so this is one of those books that there's probably lots, or not lots, but more low grade copies, like yeah. you know, like like below four kind of level. Uh, but just pretty, nobody bothered getting right, them graded. Look at the census. Though there's a one three point five, one four point five, one six, one six point five. In fact, every single grade has just got one on it. 
But um, yeah, I mean, generally, most people for these Disney ones, um, because they were mass produced, uh, they don't bother getting them graded in the lower grades just because there's a lot of lower grade ones available usually. Yeah. Um, and they're pretty, the price drops fairly dramatically. Yeah. By the time you got to, yeah, I mean, the 80 hasn't sold since 2012, but it only sold for $69. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm not sure what point we're proving here. Um, other than <laughs> well, you know, these are all so far we've gotten a bunch of records. Okay. That's this one good. will be a bit more interesting because we'll have more than one sale on this. Uh, so this is Avengers 50, a really nice clean copy. Look at this. Really clean. Another white pager, I believe. Hey, look at that. It's really nice. Uh, Roy Thomas story. John Basama cover and art, a beauty. Typhon, Zeus, and Ares appear. Hercules leaves the Avengers. Avengers 50. Yeah. I wasn't actually familiar with this cover until I saw it. I was like, well, oh, this saw, is quite nice. Yeah, it is very John Buscema y, though. Mm -hmm. um, it's very cool. Got the Wasp. Yeah, and the perspective is really interesting. It's like, yeah, it's quite good. Um, right. So, very nice. Not a key, but um, yeah, but just a high grade. 9. Book. A nine point eight it can't be many. 9. It might be. I I think it's going to be highest of census as right. well. <laughs> Alan, let's have a little competition. How many nine point eights of this do you think there are? I say two or three. Yeah, that'd be my guess. I'm going to go for eight. Oh wow! Okay, let's see. Let's see who's right. Uh, twenty. Thirty. 20 wow <laughs> we're both way off okay um wow i didn't think it would be that common but yeah i guess so right um, so there should be lots of sales at least on this one we'll kind of get a sense yeah okay it's all right okay. it's okay it's not see. too bad actually it's up overall well you know don't look no, I go back to twenty. If I go back to twenty twelve. It sold for one thousand one hundred and ninety five, and now it's selling for one thousand two hundred. So over a ten year period, it's added five dollars. Yeah, yeah, but it's uh, at least it's up. Is the point that we're trying to make here? Um, so actually, not too bad. Actually, these nine eights, the top of the census books are doing reasonably well. Only one was just dramatically down. I think the guy probably overpaid at the time. Yeah, I mean it's it's up from three years ago significantly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um my favorite if if I had if I had to lay out money for these these ones we've looked at and here, Alan, I would be buying so if I put a thousand dollars if I put um if I put twelve hundred dollars in front of you. Mm-hmm. You could either buy this Avengers 50 or you could probably buy two of the others. Which would you, what would you buy? Well, I, I would actually like the jungle book and the uh, sleeping beauty. Yeah. Personally, those are, those are more my style. Um, yeah. I think those would be pretty cool. Like, I just like the, I, I'm a big fan of the jungle book. So yeah. Um, I, and I'd to me, those are keys too. I'd probably go jungle book and the Tarzan actually. Cause I do like the. Oh, jungle. wow. I do like the George Wilson um, painted cover. Painted covers, and actually, if I if I if I remember correctly, a lot of those um, uh, Tarzan ones and Gold Key ones, the back cover would also like would be the, the same cover, but yeah, without the trade dress. You got a pin up poster, yeah. Yeah, so very cool books. I I, I don't know. I, I think it's interesting to see how well these uh, investment grade books sell for. And um, so far, actually, I would say they did quite well. But on your channel, we're going to look at even bigger books. These The ones on your channel, actually much bigger. And they are top of the census as well. So um, if you enjoyed this first five, you're going to really be amazed by the ones that are on Mark's channel. So go over to Mark's channel, check them out. Uh, the link is in the description. Bye for now. Bye.